Hey, what's up, guys? This is Danny. Welcome to the nation. The house I'm at today is in South Carolina. This house, folks, is so haunted that no one will live here. Every time someone moves into this house, the spirits scare them so bad that they get out. This house now has sat vacant for at least 10 years. And now we, you and I, are about to go talk to the spirits and see what we can find out. So let's go. Okay, so I have one camera set up on the Spirit Ball, the K2, and my EVP recorder. But as I said, I did a walkthrough. I found out there's three spirits in this house. This is the first room that Grandma led me to. And I found out there's an angry 16-year-old girl in here. Now we're going to talk to her and get some information. To the 16-year-old girl... Are you still here? Are you angry that I'm in your room? I just want to let you know you're not allowed to touch me, my equipment. You're not allowed to attach yourself to me or my equipment or anyone who watches this video. You understand? Great. So I have equipment set up over there on the mantle that you can go touch. It won't hurt you. It'll just make pretty lights for you. If you want to, you can go over there and mess with that. So you're angry, huh? Can you tell me why you're so angry? Were you raped in this room? Multiple times? And then they killed you here in this room? Man. Okay. Is that why you're so angry, especially toward men? Well, darling, I'm not going to try to hurt you. All I want to do is talk to you. Will that be okay? Can you tell me what your name is? Sabrina? Sabrina Blackheart? Can you tell me what year all this happened? Nineteen eighty two? You've been here ever since? You like to scare people when they come in, don't you? Do you have anything you'd like to say? Would you like to use a spirit box? Okay. The guys, you've seen me do this before. I'm going to set the camera up over where the other camera is. And I'm going to put my spirit box over there with a mic, camera on it. And we're just going to see what we can find out. Second. 
Sabrina, did you say what you needed to say? Is there anything I can do for you while I'm here, Sabrina? Do you want to cross over? Is there anything more you'd like to say? Okay, well, I'm going to leave you. Thank you for being willing to speak to me. Is there a spirit in here with me? This is a male. Sir, you're in your 50s. Can you tell me your exact age? 52? Can you tell me your name? Eugene Marshall. Can we just call Eugene? Is it okay if I call Eugene? Okay, Gene. My name is Danny Kelly. I mean you no harm. I mean you no disrespect. Did you used to live in this house, Gene? Did you die in this house? Were you the one that had this house built? It was built in 1974. And this is your place. Uh, and this is your place. Is that why you're here? You're kind of like the overseer or caretaker of this house. Okay, Gene. I feel you right now. You're right behind me, aren't you? Was that you that just touched me in the middle of my back? Ask you please not to touch me, okay? Thank you. Guys, he just touched me in the back, right in the small of my back, right here. And it was like a little nudge. Gene, are you trying to get me away from this mantle? You just want to let me know that you were here? Oh, brother, I can feel you. I know you're here. Is it okay with you that I'm here? 
thank you for giving me that permission, sir. So, Jean, I just spoke to Sabrina across the hall. She's a very angry young lady. Who could blame her for what happened to her, right? Did you see what happened when it did? Were you able to stop it? When she died, did she see you? You were there waiting for her? See, I formed a bond. And as I stated earlier, this house is so haunted that nobody will live here now, right? It's your guy's mission to keep people out of the house. But you're okay with me being in here? They say, yes, sir, as long as you're respectful. And I always will be, Gene. I always will be. I'm not going to show you any disrespect whatsoever. Gene, do you have anything you would like to say, sir? You want to use my spirit box? You want to speak directly to me? Okay, sir, go ahead. I'm listening. And by the way, Gene, I'm going to repeat back what you say so that people can hear it. He said, I don't like it when people come in here and vandalize. This is my property. And unless I give you permission, you're not allowed. But I'm giving you permission right now. Hey, Gene, I want to let you know you're not allowed to attach yourself to me or my equipment or anyone who watches this video. You understand? He said, yes, sir. I don't want to leave. Okay, Gene, I appreciate that. Is there anything more you'd like to say? Say on, brother. Say on. He said, if you look around, you can see people left my house junky. And that does not make me happy. Anyone who comes in this house without permission is cursed. I don't have to worry about that, do I, Gene? Thank you, sir. Is there anything more you'd like to say? Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. I'm listening. The things that I've seen people do in this house sickens me to my stomach. People come in here and do all kinds of things. They do drugs in here. I've even seen someone else get raped in here. Was that Sabrina? This was a woman in her 20s, black woman. Was she raped? And on this side of the hallway, but the far room, it 
Okay. The reason I ask that, guys, uh, it's going to be gross. When I did my walkthrough and I went into that room, there was a used condom laying on the floor. So we're going to find out if that belonged to the rapist. Gene, that condom that I found, did that belong to the one who raped this young lady? And no one ever found out about it, did they? Did she ever report it? So people found out? Okay, just want to be clear on that. The police, did the police know about it? Did her family know about it? She kept it a complete secret. Is because the one who did this told her if she tells anybody that she'll kill her and her family? So there's a lot of negative energy in this house. I could feel it when I was doing my walk there. I could feel that negativity. It was really strong. Anything else you want to say, sir? Speak on, Gene. Speak on. As you walk through my house, remember, be respectful to each spirit that you encounter. But beware of the one in the mirror. He's as dark as night. I put him there. Do not release him. Can I speak to him, Gene? Will he try to harm me? Thank you for the warning. Is there anything that you need to say, sir? All right, Gene, thank you for talking to me, buddy. All right, let's go, guys. Okay, guys, during my walkthrough, my initial walkthrough before the recording started, I did find out that there is a lady in here. I believe she's in her 40s. Um, she really don't like people to be in the house, but she did say it was okay for me to be in here. So I am going to speak to her. Ma'am, are you here? Is it okay that I'm in here? Are you 45 years old? Can you tell me your name? Eloise Simpson? Eloise, did you die in this house? Can you tell me what caused your death? You were murdered? Three white men in their early 20s? Did you know any of these gentlemen? Can you tell me your story? What happened? Okay, speak to me and I'm going to tell the people what you're saying, okay? I was just in here minding my own business, trying to sleep and get out of the weather. 
I saw this house was empty, so I came in. This bed that you see before you, that's where I was laying at. I was asleep. I got woken up by people slapping me in the face and laughing. Three young white men. And I'm a black lady here all by myself. What could I do? I tried to fight them off. The harder I fought, the harder they hit. They beat me to death. On this bed. Can you tell me what year that was? No. Do you know what year it is now? This is 2024, Eloise. She's like, what? Yeah, it's 2024. This is the year. Without giving me specifics, can you tell me around what year it was? No, sir, I'm not allowed to speak about it. Okay, not a problem. I totally respect that. No problem at all. Eloise, is there anything I can do for you while I'm here, sweetheart? Do you join Jean and Sabrina in scaring people away? Can you tell me why you guys decided it was okay for me to come in? We see you. We know who you are. We know the kind of man you are. And we trust you. Try that again because my hand was shaking. She said, because we trust you. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say always? There's nothing I can do for you. Do you want to cross over? Thank you, Eloise, for talking to me. Now, guys, we're going to go talk to the man in the mirror. Okay, I want to speak to that man in the mirror. Are you here? I know from what I've been told, you're a very, very dark spirit. And that you intend harm to me. I'm telling you right now, you cannot touch me. You cannot hurt me. You cannot attach yourself to me or any of my equipment or anyone who watches this video. Is that understood? I feel your presence here very strong. You're a very, very negative, dark spirit. Is this a human spirit? Can you tell me your name? You said they call me Georgie Boy. Guys, I'm hearing shit all around me. I hope the mic is picking it up. Georgie Boy. How old are you, Georgie? 38?
I have two pieces of equipment in front of you. Can you make one of those pieces of instrument? No, piece of equipment. Try that again. Can you make either one of those pieces of equipment light up? Please do so. Georgie boy, I have a spirit box that you can use to speak through. Would you like to use that? All right, guys, I'm going to get this set up and I'm going to leave Georgie, Georgie boy here to say whatever he wants to say. Georgie boy, did you say what you wanted to say? Can you tell me how you ended up in that mirror? I was having a good time and scaring everybody like everybody else was. But I took it a little too far. At least that's what they told me. Okay, Georgie boy. So Gene told me he's the one that put you in that mirror. Is that true? Because you were not doing like you were supposed to, were you? Excuse me about my ear. Okay, Georgia boy, is there anything else you want to say? You want to speak directly to me? Say on, I'm right here listening. I don't like you. I don't want you here. Get out. You're not welcome here. Get out. Motherfucker, I said get out. Okay, Georgia boy, there's, there's no reason for you to be ugly with me. I'll leave. Guys, that concludes this investigation. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey. I love you all. I really do, man. So until next time.
This right here is Danny Kelly. And I will see you. On the flip side.